DCS 2.9 just got released and I honestly couldn't wait to put on my VR headset and test out the new upscaling settings like DLSS and FSR and that's what we are going to cover in this video. But first a very important note, you might experience different results. This is merely a first impression video I had, I just recorded it and I just wanted to share it with you all. I will be creating a very comprehensive DCS VR 2.9 settings guide in the future so subscribe if you want to be notified. See here the settings I used for my test and feel free to pause them and review them but remember they are not optimized for VR. I tested using the Pimax Crystal at its default resolution which is quite high and this was purely done for testing purposes. I did not utilize the eye tracking foveated rendering feature or any of the OpenXR settings Everything was set to default and I only adjusted the DCS settings. I also highly advise you to keep an eye out for the YouTube channel VR Flight Sim Guy. He also posts really good VR performance videos and test videos. Alright, let's get started. In this scenario with no upscaling and DLAA as the anti-aliasing we have a 48 to 49 FPS. Without recording I scored 10 FPS more in every single scenario just so you know. With the upscaling set to DLSS Ultra Performance we score 58 FPS so that is 10 FPS more sometimes a bit more compared to the previous one. Uh, I have to say though, it looks very blurry and not something I would like to play with. With the upscaling set to DLSS performance, we don't really see an improvement FPS wise, but it all does look a little bit less blurry, especially if you look at the MFDs over here and the buttons. When setting the upscale to DLSS balanced, everything becomes more sharp, although we lose some uh, frames here, especially if we look at the cockpit and the MFDs, we lose around 5 FPS, but still a little bit blurry. If we set the upscale to DLSS quality, well everything becomes a bit more sharp. The FPS seems just the same as all the others, uh, to be honest, so I don't really know what's going on. So if you want to play with DLSS, I would just put it to quality over here. Uh, maybe we'll lose a little bit of FPS when we look at the cockpit, but overall it's sharper and the FPS seems around the same. With the upscaling set to FSR this time with a scaling of 0.9, we get an FPS of 52 and everything looks a little, well, it, it looks it looks okay. It looks, uh, it looks kind of sharp. I can read the stuff in the cockpit, especially the radio frequencies over there on the right, I can read that. Uh, if we look here at the cockpit itself, everything is quite okay-ish, readable. With the upscaling set to FSR with a scaling of 0.7, the FPS is a little bit more, 57, 58 over here. Especially soon if we look at the cockpit, it, it's a bit more as well, although it's, it's, it is more blurry uh, in a way. But still playable, I would say. Uh, I guess sometimes we hit 60, if I look around, sometimes we hit 70 FPS, so uh, that's quite okay. With the upscaling set to FSR with a scaling of 0.5, everything becomes a little bit too blurry uh, in my opinion and so it is not quite playable. We do have an FPS of 60 as you can see over here, quite stable as well. So that is a 10 FPS increase. Also if we look at the MFDs here, stable 60 and sometimes even 70 or 80 if we look down. And here we have set the upscaling to NIS, the Nvidia one, at a scale of 0.9. We do have an FPS of 52, 54. Everything is okay. I do notice that this is the most blurriest of them all. So ha. here the upscaling is set at NIS with a scaling of 0.7, 58 FPS. Quite a good and stable FPS. But as you can already notice, everything starts to get blurrier and blurrier. And I will show you at a scaling of 0.5, which is kind of unplayable. Well, this is also not very enjoyable, I would uh, I would say. And here we have set the upscale to NIS with a scale of 0.5. And as you can see, super blurry in the headset. Super blurry, not playable. An FPS of 62, absolutely amazing, but you can't see anything. The MFDs are all blurry. No, it's not good. 
Again, this was just a very quick look at what the new upscaling settings do to my performance and I will work very hard everyone to get the ultimate settings guide out so everyone can enjoy VR with DCS in the new 2.9 update. I hope to see you next time in the next video and as always, if you want to keep up to date with the latest PC VR stuff, subscribe to this channel. Ciao ciao!